Hey, we're going to talk about UTMs for LinkedIn ads. So if you're not quite sure what that is, when you're setting up an ad and you're set up the destination URL, the best practice is actually to use an, a UTM. So what that is, is a unique identifier. And let me show you. So this is, oops. So this is a UTM builder. For example, we have www.impactable.com. Source is going to be LinkedIn. Actually, I take that back. We'll do a paid social. They have like certain sources that everyone uses. Medium is going to be LinkedIn. Campaign is going to be LinkedIn cold and content could be, you know, whatever. Some of these, I mean, the most important ones are the source, the medium, and the campaign. Other than that, it's identifying the individual. You know, you could have one one UTM that you use for pretty much all the ads in a campaign, or you could get fancy and you could have a different UTM for each ad so you knew, you know, the different creative that's, that's doing the best. I would say to just get started, you could get a template like that, like this, which I will actually include in the description of the video. And then you would just simply grab, uh, copy this and paste it into what your ad is. And so this is the way it works. Let me show you. So our website is uh, actually impactable.com. It should forward. So if you put a question mark, let's say you put a dash and you put a question mark, you can put whatever you want after that it'll still send you to the exact same page. But the reason that putting something on here is a good idea is because you can embed certain kind of uh, codes or tracking numbers or, um, you know, this format lets you know where the traffic is coming from. So if I set up this UTM for my LinkedIn ads, for cold and then for retargeting. And I set up a similar UTM for my Facebook ads, cold and retargeting and any other channels I use. Then when this traffic hits the website, I'm able to see where that traffic came from and what that traffic did. So for example, when you're using these UTMs and you send them to your website, you'll then have the ability on the back end to see what that traffic does. So here you could, this is a, data studio version of Google analytics. So here I'd be able to compare then my different sources and mediums of traffic and the quality. So I could see the amount of sessions, the bounce rate, how many pages per session, the average session session duration. So the idea is that if you use UTMs for each of your paid channels, you could then track the quality of traffic and compare them between the channels. You could also see which channels lead to the most goal completions, you know, ideally which channels lead to the longest session duration, the most pages per session, the lowest bounce rate and the most, uh, and the highest conversion rates. And you do that by having these UTM identifiers on all of the traffic that you send to your website. And that is pretty much what UTMs are. So again, I will leave a link of this builder in the description here so that you can try that and add it to all of yours. Thank you.